Welcome to Brookfield University. What is viscosity? Why is there a need to measure viscosity? Hi, I'm Mark Cahollin from Amatec Brookfield. In this training module, we will discuss the basics of a viscometer and its associated components. I will answer questions like, what is in a viscometer? How does it work? How do you measure viscosity? And how can we use these measurements for product development and quality control? Let's start. So what is viscosity? Viscosity is a measurement of liquid resistance to flow. It measures how well the liquid flows on a substrate or in a media. In the imperial system used in America, the unit for viscosity is centipoise or CPS. Whereas in the metric system used in Europe and Asia, viscosity's unit of measurement is millipascal second or MPAS. Look at the image on the screen. This is an image of shampoo flowing on an elevated substrate. This image gives you an idea of the shampoo's viscosity by observing its flow. As you can see, the shampoo is flowing down slowly. In contrast, water flows quickly. So we understand that shampoo has a higher viscosity than water. There are several ways to measure liquid viscosity. Using an Amatec Brookfield viscometer is perhaps the most widely used method. There are several types of Amatec Brookfield viscometers and spring ranges. But what kind of viscometer and spring range should you choose? That depends entirely on the type of sample and results needed from the tests. Certain viscometer models are more suitable for specific test applications, and certain viscometers may not have the capabilities to perform the test parameters, test analysis, and data structure management you need. But first, you need to understand the types of samples you're working with. It is important to characterize fluid sample flow conditions to identify the right instrument and test methods for successful viscosity measurements. You can determine the type of sample with this simple technique. Just check how it flows. Is the sample free flowing, slow flowing, or very slow to non flowing? Let's assume the sample is free flowing with low viscosity. In that case, I recommend using a viscometer with a low spring torque, big spindle, and higher spindle speed. The opposite applies to a highly viscous liquid sample. For these, a stiffer HA or HB spring, smaller spindle, and lower spindle rotation speed are recommended. The image on the screen shows the dial face of the Brookfield analog viscometer. I want to use this example to illustrate that all viscometers have the same principle of working from 0 to 100% torque. Torque is the twisting movement of a calibrated beryllium spring in the viscometer. If you look carefully, the dial face has 0 to 100 markings. 0% is when the viscometer is at rest. 100% is when the viscometer is measuring at its maximum. Anything beyond 100% is an overrange. So when you see a viscometer with EEEE, -E -E, it means that it went over the range or beyond 100%. EEEE -E -E indicates that the sample is too viscous to measure with the selected spindle, speed, and spring range combination. The logic here is simple. Let me explain. It is like using a standard bathroom weighing scale. If the maximum weight a scale can measure is, let's say, 200 pounds, and if someone weighs 210 pounds, the scale goes over range. The scale can't read weights beyond its maximum weight capacity. Now, how does a viscometer measure viscosity? Viscosity measurements are done by attaching a spindle connected to the viscometer motor through a calibrated spring and rotating the spindle while immersed in the test sample. The viscous drag of the fluid against the spindle causes the calibrated spring to deflect. The deflection is known as percent torque. It is measured with a transducer where it gets converted electronically. The test result is then displayed on the viscometer's LCD screen. The following factors determine the viscometer's measurement range. The test temperature, the spindle's geometry, the rotational speed used, the test sample container's dimensions and shape, and the viscometer spring torque. As I mentioned earlier, there are various viscometer models with different capabilities, user interfaces, and features. Choosing the right viscometer will largely depend on the test application, the type of sample, 
reasons for viscosity measurement, test temperature, type of results needed, and data retention. Whether or not you need 21 CFR compliance capabilities also makes a big difference in the viscometer selection and price. Remember, some features may be available in specific models and may not be available in other models. So which model do you need? You'll want to take into consideration your specific applications and desired results to choose the best instrument for your needs. For additional options, Amatec Brookfield also offers specialized viscometers. For example, the Wells Brookfield Cone and Plate, Gel Timer, CAP, and KU3 viscometers fall under this category. The Wells Brookfield is the most suitable for small sample sizes like blood, body fluid, serum, and expensive materials. Therefore, this viscometer is widely used in the medical and biotechnology industries for research and development. The Gel Timer is a special viscometer developed for the fiberglass, epoxy, and gel coating industries. It is the perfect viscometer for measuring the time taken for a gel coating or epoxy to cure and achieving peak exotherm. The CAP viscometer is mostly used for samples like ink, paint, and coatings that need to undergo high shear. Last but not least, the KU3 is also for the paint industry and measures viscosity to meet ASTM D562 standard. The latest Brookfield DV2T and DVNEX viscometers feature full color touchscreen user interfaces. They are simple and easy to use. These viscometers have built-in memory and processors, which can be programmed, run, collect, analyze, and save test data in standalone mode. You won't need an external PC or software to save the test results. You can also export the test data onto a USB memory stick to view or print. These capabilities make the viscometers perfect for users on the production floor or QC lab where there are no computers or laptops. Or, if you don't wish to invest in a laptop, this viscometer is perfect for you. All Amatec Brookfield standard viscometers come with a set of stainless steel spindles, four pieces for the LV viscometer, and six pieces for the RV, HA, HB spring torque viscometers. Our standard viscometers are ready to measure viscosity out of the box. We also provide a lab stand, guard leg, and power cord. An RTD temperature probe is included with either a DV2T or DVNEX viscometer. The type of spring, spindle, and speed used make a significant difference in the viscosity range a viscometer can measure. Besides temperature, changes in springs, spindles, and speeds can impact viscosity test outcomes, especially when working with non-Newtonian fluids like paint, moisturizing creams, and shampoos. In the next training module, I will explain the importance of these components, their functions, and how they impact the test results' repeatability, reproducibility, and outcome. If you're having trouble choosing the best instrument for you, call 508-946-6200 or visit brookfieldengineering.com. We'll provide guidance on the model selection process, spindle construction considerations, and other useful information to help you make an informed decision on the best instrument for your applications. My team looks forward to discussing with you further to determine the ideal fit for your specific needs.